Hi, this is episode 99 of Krondos. I'm your host, Jordan Hudgens. I'm a Ruby dev and the CTO of the DevCamp platform. Nowadays, it seems like everyone wants to do things faster. We want to pay without taking out a credit card or cash. Social media lets us share images and videos from our lives in a split second. And we get frustrated if Netflix takes longer than three seconds to start streaming our latest TV show series binge. However, if you want to learn how to code faster, I'm going to present an odd idea to you. Go slower. This may seem like a counterintuitive kind of concept. Don't coding boot camps, even dev camp where I teach, tell you how you can learn how to code in a few months? Yes, and research shows that eight weeks is a powerful number when it comes to learning. The Navy SEAL training program specifically chose eight weeks as its time frame for conditioning candidates. And if you Google eight-week training programs, you'll find courses ranging from running 10Ks to speaking Spanish fluently. So I'm a huge believer that individuals can learn an incredible amount of information in a short period of time. But what I'm talking about today is becoming more deliberate when it comes to learning new information. If you're like me, when you learn a new topic, the first thing you'll do is either move on to the next topic or repeat the same concept as quickly as humanly possible. For example, when I learn a new Ruby or Scala programming method, I'll usually jump right into using it as many different times and in as many different situations as possible. However, I've discovered that this may not be the best approach because it's very short-sighted. When it comes to learning how to code, one of the most challenging requirements is moving knowledge from our short-term memory to our long-term memory. Remember back to the last time you learned a programming technique. Do you remember how easy it felt when you repeated what the instructor taught? The syntax seemed so straightforward, and it probably seemed like there was no way you'd forget how to implement the feature. But after a few days, if you try to rebuild the component from scratch, is it easy or hard? If you're like me, the concept that seemed incredibly easy just a few days before now makes you draw a complete blank. But don't worry, this doesn't mean that you're incompetent. Instead, it means that this piece of knowledge wasn't given the chance to move from your short-term memory to the long-term memory. So if our default mindset is to forget what we've learned after a few days or even a few minutes, how can we learn anything? This is where our brain's default programming comes into play and where we can hack the way that we learn. I'm gonna take it for granted that you wanna learn how to code faster. I've messaged with a number of the readers of this blog, and so far I haven't found anyone that was going through the post simply because they're bored. So one technique that I've been using to learn a new programming language has been to slow down. I'm currently teaching myself the TypeScript programming language. TypeScript is a language that is recommended for Angular 2 development, so I thought it'd be a good next language to learn. However, instead of taking my default approach, which is to slam through the training guides and tutorials, I'm taking a more methodical approach. Through my learning, I'm going through a number of books and video series, and as I follow along with the guides, as soon as I learn a new topic, I completely stop. I'll stand up, write the new component on one of my whiteboards, and actually write the program out by hand. After that, I type the program out on the keyboard very slowly so slowly that I know I could go around four times faster. But by taking this approach, I'm forcing my mind to think about the new concept instead of rushing through it. When it comes to working with our long-term memory, this approach is much more effective than simply flying through a concept because it forces our minds to think through each keystroke. I didn't learn this technique from another developer. Instead, I heard about how one of the most successful classical music institutions in the world, the Meadowmount School of Music in New York, teaches students new music compositions. As a game, the school gives out portions of the sheet music. So where most schools will give each student the full song, Meadowmount splits the music up into pieces. From there, it hands each student a single piece for them to focus on. From that point, the student will only learn to play that single piece of music. They'll start out very slowly. They won't rush through the notes because they don't even know how they fit in with the rest of the song. This approach teaches them how to concentrate on learning a new song one note at a time. From that point, the students trade note cards and then they focus on learning another piece of the song. They continue with trading cards until each student has been able to work through the entire set of cards. 
By forcing the students to break a song into pieces, they no longer will have any weak points in that song. Instead, the students will have focused on the notes themselves. And from this point, it's trivial for all the students in the class to combine their knowledge and learn how to play the song all the way through. So can this approach help you learn how to code faster? I think so. The research shows that by slowing down and breaking concepts into small pieces, it's easier for students to transfer information from short-term to long-term memory. So the next time you're learning a coding concept, take a step back. Instead of simply copying what the instructor is teaching, write it down on a piece of paper. Walk through exactly what is happening in the program. If you take this approach, you'll discover that you're not simply following a teacher's set of steps, but that you'll actually learn how the concepts work. And if you get to the stage of understanding, you're going to be ready to transfer that knowledge to your long-term memory and remember it for good.